Hey guys, happy Saturday morning. This is the last, look at that. Not a pretty morning up there in the sky. Um, but this is the last sort of warm morning we're gonna have. It's like, I think it said it's 30 right now, which, oh, uh, it's a little bit windy. You can see the trees are moving. They're calling for high winds starting today. And we're not gonna be warm anymore. I know I said in the last video it was really warm up here, but <clears throat> we're done being warm. So I thought I'd come outside because I don't know. You could see there's some pretty pink sunrise going on over there. Um, they came and cleared some trees on the ride up here and you could see the city real good now on the drive up. Um, real pretty with the lights at night and stuff. I have, oh dang, I hope it's warm enough tomorrow to water these bushes because they're not very happy because they've had no water. I watered those little trees real good <clears throat> for the first uh, month that they were in, but I haven't watered them in a while. Steve is getting a drink. I get a little bit pink up there but I'm hoping I was hoping honey could um, put up the Christmas lights but if it's gonna be windy tomorrow he's probably not gonna be able to do it and then it'll be too late it already feels too late because I've had Christmas up for a month I don't have the lights on the tree yet anyway I love these little upper windows and how I can decorate them. I didn't have anything up there before, but I think after I take Christmas down, I definitely will. Okay, I'm gonna go. I gotta make the bed. Kinda, I, I'm gonna show you that. <laughs> that is phenomenal. But I'm leaving it dark because I don't really want you to see it yet. And I'll talk to you later, bye. I know it's hard to see, but I kinda wanted to show you the windows at the shop. If you can see, got the Santa Claus, and then over here, so cute. Uh, I'm gonna show you from inside too. from inside. There's the front of the dog house. And then this side. Here's up on top of one of the displays. Oh, Harry, you can see the clouds and the snowflakes from the back side. Got a little bicycle up there with some cute little doggies. So this is where the dogs go in, and over there is where the dogs come out. Let's go see what, what everybody's doing. That is, well my receptionist makes those and I let her have a little display in here. This is the start of the goodie bags. Everybody gets a goodie bag. More goodie bags. I gotta make more this weekend. Oh, it's a mess in here. Uh oh. <laughs> hey guys, it is Sunday morning, and this um, sunrise is very unique. Usually there's a lot of pinks in it, <coughs> but not this morning. And it's cold and it's intermittently windy 
at this moment it is not but it's beautiful and I just had to share it with you it's windy as heck and I am forcing my husband to do this we're videotaped Give me that. I'll hold it. Oh, what's heavy? Here's Jingle Bells. Stay, Steve. It is truly windy as hell. Look at that face. Listen to that. It's awesome. Okay. Didn't take too long. We could even, I mean, honestly, we could even like kind of put it right here. We're gonna put a solar light. We're gonna move this one over and then bring one from the back. That's super cool. And it took less than five minutes. <laughs> Do you guys like the hat? I got him, look at the hat. Oh, he's got a back in. Huh? He's got a back in. It is really, really windy outside. It, it was just a second ago. And then, because we get these gusts. There we go. I think you could kind of see it better from the back. It's so windy that the direct TV is not working. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? And then it just stops. We'll, we'll get gusts. They've been calling for hurricane, hurricane force winds today. And it is wild. Woo! I'm gonna put my hoodie on. I'm going down the hill, going to Walmart. See you later. Hey guys, it is Monday morning. Have I shown you guys the Eagles? These guys sit on the front porch. I bought them kind of because I thought they'd look cool. One on that corner and one on this corner. But Honey says they're too small. So I was just looking out the window and noticing that we're getting some ice. This is the first time I've seen ice on the front water feature. And they said that once we start forming ice, it's important to um, break it up and refill because the ice, um, it dissipates, or I don't know what you call it, um, the water. It takes a lot of water to make ice. <laughs> so... I'm gonna break up some of this ice, get some of these leaves out, and fill this thing up. Well, I'm out in the back now because the garden hose is frozen. So out here, we've got an aerator here and an aerator there, which is keeping 
a hole in the ice but I don't know if you can see but there's it's frozen all the way to the edge now this is staying open obviously because the water is running um, but yeah <laughs> So, it's best to keep this broken up. I should get some kind of tool because this is just shattering. So, I'm going to go find something to break that up. I just can't imagine how the fish can live in there, but I've been assured they will be fine. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to talk to Honey about the whole hose situation. And over here, <laughs> that is so cool. And then we have some ice going on down there. So there is going to be a lot of sunshine today, but going to remain cold for quite a while. No ice up at the top, but I'm going to go find something to take care of that. And I do have a heater on the way, so that's good. I ordered that. Actually, I think it should be here today. So we can get that plugged in and um, hopefully rid ourselves of this problem. Hey guys, happy Friday. <laughs> we finally finally are getting some decent snow. Honey's already cleaned off my car and it's been running for a bit. It's supposed to snow for about nine, ten, three more hours. That's not a lot. And it probably won't be a lot, but that's the most so far for sure. All right, guys, here I am out on the back porch. Here's what it looks like. It's still, we've got real light snowfall. Looks like right now about two inches. Maybe an inch and a half. Well, this is amazing and surprising that the, um, the aerators are keeping two holes open. That's good. actually kind of surprised to see snow in there it seems like the trees would catch on the trees but anyway <clears throat> not a lot of ice formations but the log is where it really seems to kind of catch I definitely have to add more water to this So pretty, so pretty. I love it. Ooh, it's starting to come down harder now. You see it? Oh, <laughs> snowflake just went in my eye. All right, here's the front water feature. Looks so pretty. It's gonna be bigger next year. I already talked to them. I was like, needs to be bigger. It's too small. So they're gonna come make it bigger. I love it. See you guys later. So guys, I showed you the snow yesterday and it doesn't seem like much, but the reason why it doesn't seem like much is because we had 85 mile an hour winds last night and it blew away. So let me show you how cold it is. You can still hear the water flow because it is flowing. But check it out. The top is completely 
frozen. But as we were told, it'll keep running. It'll just run underneath the ice. And we need to add more water because it takes a lot of water to make ice. Now here's our other dilemma. That tree is totally healthy and totally fine. And for some reason, it decided it doesn't want to stay in the ground. Well, for some reason, the wind. And Honey is very concerned that it's gonna fall. See, I think if it falls today, it might knock those lights out, but I don't think it's gonna hit the building. So, you can see how it just pulled up the ground. I mean, the tree's not dead or anything, but the winds were so high that it literally pulled that. I'm afraid to step right here. I don't know how deep it's going to be. Oh, I think I'm pushing on it and it's not budging. I really think it'll be okay if he can't. He's trying to get off of work so he can come home and take it down. I was really worried about the camper last night because last week when we had high winds, Honey said he could see it kind of lifting just ever so slightly, but last night's winds were way worse. I wanted to come out and look at the roof. I could hear the gate just really having a hard time. But this boggles my mind how it can just ice over the whole top. But everything else out here looks okay. That looks okay. And I really think that needs to go down by the road. I'm gonna tell him I really want, want that down by the road. It did move our deliveries box. <laughs> did I show you the eagles on the front porch? Okay, let's go look at the back. Okay, so this was all covered when I got home and a lot of it blew away. It's it's flowing under there, but honestly, I'm real concerned about how much ice has come out of the feature. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, because it was so windy I think it was just blowing the water out and it goes yeah so I think it'll be okay till tomorrow tomorrow we're supposed to be uh, close to 50 that might be down in the city we'll probably be in the 40s and it's beautiful, and I don't think if it wasn't windy that, that we would have this problem here. But I'm telling you, 85 mile night. Look at Shiva. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, this is a problem. Because that's... That's all from the water feature. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's look at the pond. The pond is also a problem. Look at all the dirt blown on the pond. But it's still running okay. I'm just gonna have to open it up. We put a heater in there. Ugh, I gotta deal with this. Bye guys. Hey guys, it's Sunday. Quite a bit different than the last couple days out here. I mean, it's still, you guys would think it was cold, but it's probably 20, 25 out here right now. And I just have a short sleeve kind of shirt on. Um, 
I got, I didn't really do anything to the pond, um, except get the de-icer floating upright, because the pond was completely frozen over. And, um, yeah, it, yeah, it did this, but look at all the dirt that's on the ice. Now, all that dirt is going to get into the water, and then it'll go through the skimmer and the filter, and it'll clean that. But that's gross. And they told us to shut off the big waterfall um, until we could clear the ice. So Honey is coming over here to break it up. But this is what it looks like when it's not running. It's very sad. Yeah, it's a lot of water that run out of it. But he said that as the water was blowing, it created an ice dam where the water was flowing out instead of flowing in. Oh, I got you. Look at that rock where that, that plant is growing. I, why don't you take the big chunks and just throw them out? Move, Sheev. I bet this is where it was happening, right here. That formed and it just kept flowing out. Well, I guess Rob was a little bit right. Huh? I guess Rob was a little bit right. <laughs> yeah. Rob, our neighbor, was like, Oh, that's not ever going to withstand winter up here. I don't worry about the little stuff, baby. That'll melt, but yeah. just get that top layer. Yeah, don't worry. That'll melt. Can, can you get this right here? Well, just try to step on it or something. See, there's a lot. That's where I think it was going out. Oh, going like that? Yeah. I want no more. Okay. Yeah, that'll melt. Huh? Yeah. Oh, you almost hit her. Hey, CB girl. Um, do you think you should bust a little bit by where that comes out of the log? No. No? Okay. It's not going to be running. Oh. Well, I figure if we put water... I mean, that's, that's where the problem was. There's no point in them coming up here. If we can get it get back going without them coming up, because I don't know if they're going to charge us or not. Well, I think that's going to melt. Okay. I'd rather see if we can just get it back going than have them come out here. Okie dokie, Smokey. You want me to turn it on then? Well, we got to put more water in it. We can do that while it's running. Okay. So here's the front one. I'm just going to bust up what I can. Honey came home yesterday, cut down that tree. He's really concerned about these two trees because he thinks that since they're growing out of a rock cropping that they're just not rooted sturdy enough and when they took down all the trees to bring the house in and all that 
it just opened up a wind tunnel area and he thinks they're gonna come down so sadly he's gonna take those down well the Cowboys just won and now this is what's going on out here no stay in here It seems awful wiggly. What what do you think? Wiggle, try to wiggle the trees that are alive. I don't know, what do you think? Okay. Uh it's wiggling more than the other ones did. I guess my thing is is you're here now with the thing, so what do you think? It's dead. Hey, hey, honey, honey, cut it to here and, and I'll put I'll put something on it. Cut it up higher. Yeah. Over there. I am I, I do know what you're thinking. I wouldn't go across that with the damn chainsaw. Are you insane? Yes. So I have two owls ordered to go up on here and it, he needs to make it flat.
god, that's just going in the pond. Hey guys, went a little long on this vlog, but wanted to show you the pond is completely fro uh, unfrozen. <laughs> um, you know, had to hit it with a an ice breaker. Look, there's trash, trash in the pond. Unacceptable. Um. So, yay! I told Honey to unplug the heater because it takes up a lot of wattage. So. Also, got the water feature all taken care of. There was an ice dam here at the bottom. I think it was right here where the ice built up, built up, and the water started running over the ice and then out here and then down the hill. So, we got that squared away. The pond people do not need to come up. I messaged them. I am going to keep because um, we're supposed to have nice weather this week. Unfortunately, we really like winter, but we're going to keep uh, filling it just to keep it topped off so that when it does get cold, um, all is well. And yeah, that's it. Look, we barely have any snow left. You can't see any. You can see a little bit over at the neighbor's house. And then, of course, this down here, because this um, stays kind of protected from the sun most of the day. But that stuff down there is mostly gone. Yeah. So I'm off to work. It's Monday, and I usually don't work Monday, but it's the holidays. Got more gifts wrapped and under the tree. Dogs have food and water for me to be gone all day. They've been potty. I tried making a few cookies, and they came out okay. These were, um, sorry, I forgot I had this on. Um, I had a prepackaged mix and I wanted to give it a shot and see how they did up here because, um, high altitude cooking is really, or baking is a real thing and has been a problem for me. So I wanted to give it a try and it worked, worked out okay. All right, Chibi, say bye this week. See you next week. Rizzo, what about you? Do you want to say bye?